911. What is your emergency? This is Mayor Haiti. I need your help. It, it's my daughter. What is your situation? My daughter. She's oh, upstairs. Oh, I can hear her screaming. There's someone in the house. Mr. Mayor, where are you at this moment? I'm in my bedroom with my wife. We've been locked in. Someone locked the door from the outside. Down, down, down. There was nothing else to do. So Alice soon began talking again. Dinah will miss me very much tonight, I should think. Dinah was the cat. I hope they'll remember her saucer of milk at tea time. Dinah, my dear, I wish you were down here with me. There are no mice in the air, I'm afraid, but you might catch a bat. And that's very like a mouse, you know. But do cats eat bats, I wonder? And here Alice began to get rather sleepy, and went on saying to herself in a dreamy sort of way, Do cats eat bats? Do cats eat bats? And sometimes do bats eat cats? For you see, as she couldn't answer either question, it didn't matter which way she put it. She felt that she was dozing off and had just begun to dream that she was walking hand in hand with Dinah and saying to her very earnestly, Now, Dinah, tell me the truth. Did you ever eat a bat? When suddenly, thump, thump, down she came upon a heap of sticks and dry leaves, and the fall was over. No room! No room! Hush now. There's plenty of room for our distinguished guest. Well, it wasn't very civil of you to barge in without being invited. Oh, but he was invited. And he's here for a very special reason, aren't you? We are. What time of day is it? Oh, midnight. Two hours wrong. We told you, specifically you, tea time was two hours ago. And yet you decided to come up once the whole world knew about poor little Ali. I wanted to be very civil about this, but now the police have gotten involved. Would you like some tea? Tea! My colleagues always told me that mind control was not possible. A simple card transmitting wavelengths into the brain? Elementary. Why is a raven like a writing desk? I haven't the slightest idea. Nor I. You're a very peculiar creature, Batman. Fly by night, sleep by day, fear being your only weapon. But what would you be without fear? Without the darkness to hide you? Hmm? A man, that's what you are, underneath that cowl. Isn't it just a man we would all like to know? Give him the mask, and she gets it! You think you can waltz in here and turn tables? 
I've seen your work. I've watched you ascend from the Knights of Gotham, and I must say, I'm not impressed. Taking out a few petty drug dealers. Child's play. Now to more important matters. Your cowl. I've never seen anything like it before. It's exquisite, and I would love to add it to my collection. For I adore hats. I believe that they help us define our identity in such a unique way. Or hide it. But see, I do not want the cowl for not only its design, but also its designer. Who's beneath the mask? Name your price. The way I see it, you have three options. One, give me the cowl, show me who you really are, and Ali lives happily ever after. Two, you put up a fight, my men rip it off your face. Three, you walk away, there's no transaction. Unfortunate for me, and Ali does not live happily ever after. I don't think you understand the gravity of this situation. Petty drug dealers, thugs, these things are nothing. You will now have the blood of a child on your hands. And if you understood time as well as I do, you wouldn't consider wasting it. What is your decision? Option two. Off with his head. Come on, Bats. Let's shake it. I said, let's shake it. Games, Batman. It's the cowl or her life. And there is no more time to waste.
leave him. Scarface. 